so first we have to study about the frog weed association then about the competition then about the lilopathy then concepts of weed controlling and then methods of weed controlling so before telling you about the what is frog weed uh, association and competition without going directly to these points i want to tell you about the difference between crop and plant so guys you have to learn about what is crop and what is plant they both they are not same they are different the crop is that organism which we are growing for commercial purpose okay which have some economic value that is that is known as crop and in case of plant that we are not growing for commercial purpose they grown i can say by their own okay and second thing we are not getting any type of economic profit from them so hope i the, these terms are clear to you crop and plant after that what is weed so again i am repeating weed is an unwanted undesirable plant that are grown in our main field where main crop is grown okay if we are grown i can say uh, there is a full farm of uh, weed crop growth okay and there is a single uh, i can say single mustard crop grown there so that is weed for the weed crop that is not considered as mustard that is a weed for wheat okay because because only uh, there is a single plant of mustard and there is a thousand plant of wheat so mustard create a competition with crop wheat so that is the difference next is the crop wheat association as next come to the association so uh, these are the learning objective we have to know about this uh, after this lecture that you have to learn about the crop weed association the competition what is allelopathy what is the weed management what is weed control okay so uh, crop weed association i can say competition directly not started okay so firstly the weed get associated with the crop like start growing with it okay Ma and follow the growth characteristics the adaptation characteristics of our crops then further it it start competing with the crop plant when it is i can say higher level of the weeds to get the good vegetation and good reproduction okay that's why they are uncontrollable at certain point so weed possess many growth characteristics and adaptation ठीक है सेकेंड पॉइंट इज दे स्टार्ट कम्पीटिंग विद दम सेल्स ऑल्सो एंड विद द क्रॉप प्लांट ऑल्सो लाइक इन केस ऑफ ह्यूम लिविंग विद ईच अदर दे आर स्टार्ट बट आफ्टर एट अ सर्टन पॉइंट दे स्टार्ट कम्पीटिंग विद ईच अदर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डिफरेंट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स आदर इन न्यूट्रीन मॉइस्चर सनलाइट एवरीथिंग सो लास्ट पॉइंट इज द इन द इनिशियल स्टेज ऑफ इन्वेजन इन्वेजन होता है किसी भी चीज का धक्के से आ जाना ठीक है एकदम से हम बोल सकते हैं ग्रोथ होना लाइक इन्वेजन टर्म तो इनिशियल स्टेज पे क्या होते हैं वीड्स जो हैं हमारे क्रॉप के साथ वहाँ पे ग्रो करना स्टार्ट कर देते हैं एंड आफ्टर द एसोशिएट जब वो एसोशिएट हो जाते हैं उनके साथ दे स्टार्ट कम्पेटिंग ओके एंड देन दिस कम्पिटिशन इज स्टार्ट फॉर द अवेलेबल रिसोर्सेज so next is the crop weed competition so i uh, these are of two types okay crop weed competition was one, one is inter specific and another is intra specific so the intra specific competition is uh, i can say in the same species in same weed species or belongs to same family and another is inter specific that means they can uh, compete differently with different species and different families okay either it is a crop or either it is a weed next is uh, what are the i can say types of competition the crop uh, the weed can compete with the main crop so there are basically four one is for nutrients another is moisture third is light and fourth one is space so for nutrients uh, weeds usually absorb um, nutrients there is example that amaranthus species accumulate over 3% of nitrogen on dry weight basis okay there is a uh, this is the i can say chulai okay the chulai is the amaranthus viridis okay so the species come under amaranthaceae family that all come under 
branches species and they accumulate 3% of nitrogen means in that plants uh, the nitrogen percentage is 3% okay means the vegetative part the dry weight basis means the vegetative part and they are also known as nitrophil the amaranthaceae family or amaranthus species are also known as nitrophil similarly uh, other crops like weed crops like acanthus aspera so it consumes nearly 1.5% of p2o from the crops or from the soil next is chinopodium album or particular species they are potassium lovers as acanthus and amaranthus is nitrogen lover phosphorus lovers so chinopodium album and uh, portulaca species they are the potassium lovers okay they they have 1.3% of k2o in their dry matter so next is competition for moisture so seafood plants utilize more water than any other crop so then competition is for light also because uh, these crop also are very dense in nature okay the weed growth is very dense they require high canopy area so that's why they also need light okay and they also start fighting for light also for rainfall also so these are some points considered out in the competition for lights through weeds okay then similarly competition for space also that the crop weed competition for space is the requirement of co2 okay so they utilize the carbon dioxide gas very efficiently okay and the weeds come under in this uh, competition for space are c4 type weeds okay over the c3 types of crop because there is a crop of wheat and there is c4 type of wheat so it will consume more co2 as compared to wheat so they start competing with also because wo density in nature hote hain so they start overcrowding their themselves and start competing for these all uh, i can say space light moisture nutrients so next is the term is allelopathy so it is the i can say the adverse effect or detrimental or destroying effect of chemicals by different plant species okay means what does it means the allelopathy means that these are the it is the process in which the plants exudates chemicals which is harmful for another plant species ठीक है, विच हार्म देयर जर्मिनेशन विच हार्म देयर ग्रोथ विच हार्म देयर ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एनी अदर स्पीशीज ऑल्सो शेयरिंग द सेम हैबिटेट इफ देर इज टू वीड्स आई कैन से एंड वन इज अ लीलोपैथिक वीड सो इट विल शो एडवर्स इफेक्ट ऑन एनी अदर प्लांट स्पीशीज और एनी अदर वीड स्पीशीज ओके एंड द केमिकल्स दे आर एस्क्यूडेटिंग दे आर रिलीजिंग आर नोन एज ए लीलो केमिकल्स ओके सो दे मे बी Uh, I can say terpenoids, steroids, alkanoids. Mostly, they are belonging from phenolic acids. Okay, they belong to phenolic acid, flavonoids, and other aromatic compounds. So, allelopathy effect of weeds on crop. So, as in the first is crop is maize. So, the the uh, Parthenium sterophorus harming maize because it show allelopathy effect on maize. okay and majorly it affect the germination and seedling growth of maize similarly in maize cypress uh, esculentus affect the dry matter production because it has a tuber uh, underground tuber is of sorghum so the stem of solanum uh, solanum affects the germination and seedling growth maize solanum ye bhi wild species hoti hain ठीक है सोलेनम सोलेमेसी फैमिली से होते हैं ये वीड्स एंड दे आल्सो स्टार्ट अफेक्टिंग द जर्मिनेशन एंड सीडलिंग ग्रोथ ऑफ सोर्गम एस सिमिलरली पार्थिनियम जो है वो सोर्गम के लिए भी हार्मफुल है बिकॉज वो उसकी जो लीव्स हैं उसकी जो इनफ्लोरेसेंस है फ्लॉरिंग अरेंजमेंट है दैट आल्सो स्टार्ट हार्मिंग द सोर्गम so then allelopathic effects of crop plants on weeds uh, the escude, root escudation of maize inhibit the growth of chinopodium album uh, jo maize ki roots hain it also uh, excrete excrete the i can say allelo chemicals which inhibit jo rokti hain kiski growth ko chinopodium album 
okay similarly the cold water extract of weed straw when applied to weeds reduce the germinies or we have to study weed on weed so first is the extract of leaf lichate of decaying leaves of polygonum contains flavonoids so flavonoids is a nilo chemical and which further show toxicity to amaranthus spinosus okay the leaves of polygonum show toxicity level so uh, on amaranthus spinosus same similarly the sorghum hermense rhizomes show uh, adverse effect on digitaria sanguinalis and amaranthus species so these are the just an examples uh, for allelopathic of effect of weeds on weeds so what are the factors influencing the allelopathy uh, there, there are basically four factor one is plant factor what kind of plant is that ओके क्या वो सेम हम बोल सकते हैं सेम स्पीशीज से है डिफरेंट फैमिलीज और सेम फैमिली बट डिफरेंट स्पीशीज सो लीलोपैथिक इफेक्ट वहां पे भी हमें पता लगता है सेकेंड इज क्लाइमेटिक फैक्टर्स आपको पता है जितने भी वीड्स हैं दे शो डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ आई कैन से द मोर्फोलॉजिकल फैक्टर सम बिकम डॉर्मेंट ऑल्सो समेन सॉयल फैक्टर्स कैसे हैं इट इज अ क्ले सॉयल और कैसा टेक्स्चर है उसका so these things also come under factors influencing allelopathy fourth one is the stress factor of allelo chemicals like uh, eucalyptus is one example of that that cause stress to the other crop plants also so it release kind of allelo chemicals to show adverse effect on other plants then uh, mechanism of allelo chemical how it start acting on the crop plant or weed plant so first they can uh, interfere with the cell elongation process okay when uh, it is secreted a plant ko nahi pata usko kaun sa ye chemical harmful hai ki beneficial hai start taking that nutrient or absorbing that nutrient so firstly jo allelo chemical hai they interfere with the cell elongation just as the chemical further plant parts mein jayega to wo photosynthesis pe act karna shuru kar denge uski then uski respiration process mein interfere karenge then uski mineral ion uptake ke upar effect karenge so these are the kind of mechanism of allelo chemicals so the different type of allelo chemicals show different effects then the last uh, is about the weed management so you all know that weeds are the major problem and cause maximum loss so that's why we need a i can say management of these weeds so we are using different kind of physical mechanical chemical methods to controlling these weeds and this whole process is known as weed management in which we are limiting our weed infestation so basically the principle of weed management are three prevention eradication and control okay first we have to prevent it how we can prevent it it is a long term planning if you are sowing any kind of uh, crop in your field you have to uh, sow the crop only crop seeds that we have said about you about parthenium stereophyll that is congress grass so that is came from america with the wheat seeds so after that we are using now quarantine purpose quarantine no for an inspection purposes so that we can't get affected our land can't be get affected by these weeds then eradication once you have sown the crop and sudden there is a i can say emerging of uh, weeds you can eradicate them you can remove that part or that vegetative part that seed or weed plant from your area then in controlling measure we use different type of controlling measure like physical isko mechanical bhi bolte hain cultural chemical and biological okay so that we have to control our weeds and get a normal yield so this is the chemical method okay in which we are using a knapsack sprayer and we are putting some kind of weedicide or herbicide into it and the weeds get killing out and then our physical method uh, i think this picture is not clear to you but i think what i am saying that will be remembrable by you all so physical method in physical method we are using any kind of spade kurpa for removing the weeds we are manually doing it 
okay then in cultural method we followed up different kind of i can say uh, flooding methods okay then biological method in biological method we used uh, different kind of insects like uh, for uh, i can say lantana camera we are using trichogerma okay bicolor data that is a kind of insect that control that wind okay it eat uh, it eat all the pollen part and uh, the wind get be controlled by this so in physical method uh, these are the terms uh, and these are the processes came in like grazing flooding burning mowing hand weeding hoeing and tillage okay i know these all terms are clear to everyone because these are not quite hard then this is the i will show the you the picture that is a tillage okay the one is a cultivator here and this is the traditional method we are following up so uh, somewhere these uh, practices help to control these weeds okay because they directly damage the root and stem system of the weed if it is grown in our main field okay that is hoeing okay we are particularly do it manually then hand weeding okay by it is um, hoeing is the i can say the process in which we are using any kind of weed, uh, weeding tool and removing our uh, weeds from the main field then hand weeding we have to use our hand obvious we can't use any kind of implements so we have to use hand weeding uh, tools like khurpi okay or sickle then sickling and mowing and burning so mowing is the cutting of cutting down of the i can say the grasses mostly hum kya karte hain machine lete hain theek hai roads ke upar jo bhi weeds hote hain usse usko kaat dete hain theek hai sickle se lete hain to sickle se kaat dete hain so that are mowing and sickling then burning stage aati hai we have to burn all the weeds then this is the flooding method grazing method aapko pata hai hamari uh, cattle bahut cheeze aise khate hain so we have to use uh, our cattle theek okay, hai for removing the weeds then in culture method we are preferring the wheel preparation field preparation crop rotation mulches we are also using it optimum plant population okay, this is the field preparation we have to clear our field without the interference or any kind of weed then in crop rotation we have to rotate our crop one by one after many years why do, uh, why so because some weeds are get adaptable if we are grown our main crop they start adapted that environment also so there is a need of crop rotation then maintenance there should be proper maintenance of plant population there should be not dense population ठीक है ज्यादा अगर गुच्छे में लगाओगे कोई चीज तो वहां पर वीड्स भी उतने ज्यादा होंगे एंड इफ इट इज देर इज ऑप्टिम प्लांट पॉपुलेशन सो देर इज लैक ऑफ वीड इन्फेस्टेशन देर एंड नेक्स्ट इज मल्चिंग मल्चिंग में आपने सुना ही होगा यहाँ पे देख भी रहे हो गए सो इन मल्चिंग वी आर यूजिंग न्यूज पेपर प्लास्टिक शीट स्ट्रॉन्ग मल्च सो दैट वी अवर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वीड इट ऑल्सो बी कंट्रोलेबल बट uh the soil moisture be conserved the soil temperature is also maintained so this is our mulching then in chemical method we are using different types of chemical methods so the first uh, chemical come into uh, india in 1944 that is the nitro4b so it is a sodium salt and it is used in herbicide usage and it can control a uh, large number of weeds at that time then biological control i also said uh, previously said that use of living organism like insects disease organisms fish snails uh, that control the weeds that uh, that process is known as biological control so this is the net benefit of various crop patterns under different weed control methods like weed check hand weeding so it is uh, i can say the ct1 here in the down you can see what is ct1 that is wheat fallow wheat fallow means that we haven't grow any kind of crop there okay then cp2 it is the wheat corn wheat then cp3 is wheat moon bean wheat then cp4 is uh, wheat cowpea wheat so there is a treatment okay when when you are going to master studies then you have to do all this kind of work 
so there are different type of treatment we are using like vd check hand weeding mechanical weeding so as to uh, you all can see about uh, the expenditure also and the weed control expenditure total control uh, total crop expenditure then we have to know how the weeds are harming our crop at large scale okay i know i hope this table is clear to all this is the amount they are showing net benefit so this is all about this lecture and these are some kind of references if you want to study it online as well as offline you have follow these kind this these books and this hyperlink for your further study thank you so